عن أبي الجوزاء أبي الجوزاء says قال قلت لابن عباس he says that I said to ابن عباس رضي الله عنه ويل لكل همزة لمزة I recited the ayah من هؤلاء الذين يذمهم الله بالويل who are these people that Allah condemns with ويل هم المشاؤون بالنميمة ابن عباس says these are the people who walk around you know uh, informing and tattling and you know uh, uh, ratting out people constantly and constantly you know going around and doing so al mufarriquna bayna al ahibba these are people that cause division between those who love each other and na'ituna lin nas bil aib those who are constantly describing people with flaws the way they call people and talk about people oh you're talking about that short guy over there oh yeah him yeah I mean, the, the words they use are constantly describing people in a condescending tone. Oh, you're talking about that really annoying one. Yes, I know him. Right? That's how they talk about people. Na'ituna lil aib. You know, constantly describing people with uh, flaws. Humas and lumas are actually the original me- uh, words, and they, according to most Arab linguists and lexicons and things like that, they're considered qaribul ma'na, which means they are almost interchangeable in how they are used. There are very subtle differences between these two. Imam Razi quotes Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu as saying that humaz is behind the back while lumaz is in the face. So humaza is someone who uh, says bad things about someone behind their back, which we also call ghiba. But they do it a lot because of the way the word is spelled. And lumaz is someone who insults them in their face. By the way, this is important to note for the reason the previous surah was dedicated to get your mind concerned with the primary concern, which is in al insana lafi. And the, pri- the primary remedy of you getting out of trouble إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا صَالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ That's what you're supposed to be concerned with. When those concerns go away, then your mind travels to these other things. And instead of finding flaw in yourself, you start finding flaw in others. Actually, the, um, I think it's Mufti Muhammad Shafi, he uh, quoted an Urdu poem in describing this attitude of a, weak, a person of weak character who fails to see their own weakness, and the only way they can find to cover their own weakness is to constantly find weakness in others. That's the best way they can cover up their own weakness. So he wrote, I'm just going to cite one part of the Urdu poem, don't get too happy. What that basically means is, how the, those who are low of character themselves, how can they ever appreciate the goodness of others? All they see in others are flaws. When a person, all they see in others is flaws, either to their face or behind their back, you know what that means? They themselves are of a low character. They don't see the good in people, they only see the flaws in people. And that doesn't speak of the other more than it does of their own selves. May Allah protect us from such attitudes. So, now the, 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 the comment to understand here is when someone is insulted and they make wail against the person who offended them. But in this surah, that person is not crying wail. Who's actually saying wail? Allah is. Meaning instead of the makroob, instead of the one who has been anguished, using the word wail, Allah comes to his defense. And Allah curses the person who had offended him. Allah, This is a very serious thing. Because usually, you know, in, in, in Islamic studies, we, we learn different things about the, the negative dua of someone against someone else. Right? So for example, إِيَّاكُمْ وَدَعْوَةَ المظلوم, Famous hadith. Watch out especially uh, uh, for the, the dua made of the, the one who's been wronged, the victim. If the victim makes dua against you, watch out. Right? Uh, this, is, you know, this is a very serious issue. Then on top of that, a more serious issue even, is when the angels are cursing someone. أُولَٰئِكَ يَلْعَنُهُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَلْعَنُهُمْ اللَّعِنُونَ Right? This is a very serious issue. But on top of all of that is when Allah exclusively, Allah is the one, who is saying wail against a person, how serious can that matter be? This is a very, very serious issue. Again, it's so, it's so important to highlight that because it's taken in the exact opposite way. It's taken so very lightly. And by the way, by most accounts, as a summary, humaza by most accounts is subtle and lumaza by most accounts is explicit. So that's basically, but even though there's flip-flop between the two and there are differences. Now here's the bottom line, if you didn't catch it already, here's the bottom line, what are the descriptions of humaza and lumaza that we should know before we move on to the next ayah. These are some words in English I picked to get the point across. Anyone who is condescending, arrogant, insensitive, critical, backbiting, self-indulged, harsh, disrespectful, inconsiderate, vulgar, 
irreverent, conceited in one's speech, in one's attitudes, or in one's body language. All of that would be humaza and lumaza.